Okay, so um, I had such a blast playing Remnant from the Ashes back in, uh, what was it, 2019? Around the fall of 2019. Um, an amazing game. Came out kind of a bad time where, you know, a lot of other releases were coming out. Um, hopefully you've checked it out. If, if not, I'm going to try to uh, get you back to do it again because I've recently played through... Uh, the DLC with uh, my friend Eddie and um, particularly was it subject nine two? I'll have to actually look up what it's a bunch of numbers. Subject two nine three three or some shit like that. Um, had a blast. Had an absolute blast because you know this is at its heart really um, a co-op game. It could be perfectly played alone. It, it may be too difficult um, for just a, just a basic playthrough unless people are literally looking for the next Dark Souls, which isn't what this game is. It uses a lot of Dark Souls things like the bonfires and how you level up your gear. Um, but now, these days, more and more games are using that kind of system. Um, or co combination of systems. But we're not actually being, you know, death simulators. Uh, so, while the bosses in this game can be pretty tough, the reg regular gameplay was not too hard. Um, and I just... The, the, the shooting is still amazing and all that other stuff. Now, to, to particulars of what they added, um, they was essentially, you, you, the original game had about four campaigns, and then you could say that the subject, 2-9, um, whatever the fuck it was, is, is like a fifth campaign. And I think the, I think the DLC is like $9 or something like that. I'm not, I don't remember exactly the price. I got it on sale with um, another little side-on that made the... Um, made the bug princesses world the swamp world a little bit more full fully fleshed out because it was a little bit smaller area compared to the um the stuff like earth and rom which was the desert planet uh and so they um there i cannot remember the na exact name of the level but and one of the parts that stuck out on me and this new expansion was the um there was like this like lab and it had a very resident evil vibe to it um, I, I, it's clearly what they were going for. It's an abandoned lab. It's much bigger and drawn out. There was a bunch of puzzles and stuff. And then when you would phase in and out to like a different kind of time. I mean, um, existence, whatever. Almost like uh, Stranger Things. And there would be a big, huge monster that seems to be, you know, unsurmountable. Uh, and you could see him before you would phase in and over your time. And so me and Eddie worked together. You know, I would draw the monster his attention while he would go and use his big shotgun to freaking, you know, take out whatever the turrets or whatever he needed to take out um, some eyeball thingies. It, it, it was freaking awesome. It was awesome. A little bit too puzzly. Uh, I think we and Eddie might have ended up looking some stuff up. Uh, a little little war windy and warpy. There's three or four layers to this damn thing. Uh, had a lot of fun to that and it was, a, it was a different stretch compared to what most of this game was. It was usually just running down corridors and shooting dummies. I mean, honestly... Um, and the, the new bosses were fun. Uh, they put a little bit more challenge to, well, at least me and Eddie got caught up on one monster. He had no ads. Most of the, uh, Remnant from Ashes monsters had, had ads. This, this giant fucking rat with like a, uh, big shield, he whooped our ass for a good, a good bit. And, uh, we ended up realizing this, like, you know what, he's a fucking melee character. If I'm on one side of the screen and Eddie's on the other damn side of the damn screen, we'll, we'll, we'll be alright. Um, had a blast running through it. It's really just more Remnant, but, dude, Remnant was freaking great. <laughs> and, and to revisit games that I just kind of played through and really enjoyed back, at, uh, you know, a couple years ago, and then, um, to come back and get the DLCs. I think that's the way DLCs meant to be. You're not meant to have, buy a fucking incomplete damn game, and then, you know, have to buy the DLC to get, you know, your, your full experience out of it. Um, the, the original Remnant was like a 15 to 20 hour game. Uh, you could stretch it out trying to get everything. It would take 40 or 50 hours, but you could just beat the game in, you know, 15 to 20. And But uh, this added a lot more to it, and um, I'm s hyped for whatever they're going to do next. I, uh, I cannot remember the damn name of the company that made this, honestly. But uh, they had made Kronos, and I played that back in VR back in the day and had a bunch of fun with that. Kronos is now available as a non-VR game. I don't, uh, without the VR, even though that's, yeah, I, it's probably shit, but anyway, I digress on that. 
Um, I still highly recommend Remnant from the Ashes. I consider it sort of a must-play from the last generation. Now, that said, it's a rough bastard to play by your own. So if you got a friend, I would recommend to play that. Um, if you like the action of Resident Evil 6 or 5, the action part, the, the, the co-op action part of it, then this is uh, an easy recommendation. Um, and so... You could, um, if you like this, then you video or whatever the fuck, then you can like and subscribe and do all that shit that I probably need to have to have some damn momentum on my channel, but I don't have any. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, click, and notifications, comment, and all that good shit, and, um, I'll be back next Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern, with another one. Thank you.